Okay, welcome back. I am going to start the details on these babies' limbs. Um, I have not cooked the limbs since I... Sorry. Would you mind? Go somewhere else. Um, I have not cooked them since I put the yellow on. I just finished the last upload so I could have memory to be able to do this video. So, are you kidding me? <laughs> you little brat, go away. Those are them. All right, now <laughs> we'll try and see which cat attacks us next. Um, I'm going to add another layer. I want this to be a little thicker um, because this is the final layer of coloring on these little feet. And this probably seems like really a lot, but it's going to blend in a little bit so that you can see that it doesn't look as obnoxious and horrible as it does when it goes on wet. And this is that true preemie coloring. So when you pick up your little foot, and it's all pink next to your little hand. That is the the memory that you have when you have a baby this size. All right, so we're gonna round that up the sides. Then I'm gonna come in and uh, do the top of the foot, all the fingers and toes, all the toenails, in between and everything only around the ankle, and then I'll blend it up going up the leg a little bit. I'm gonna start with this um, softer sponge, my blending sponge that I did my, my uh, cheeks stuff with, um, but then I'm gonna come in with my more dense one just so I can not leave any, darn cat, um, not leave any gritty spots on my fingers and toes. I want it to be as smooth and and um, non-bumpy, lumpy, gritty looking as possible. There's a spot on this baby's heel that I'm going to emphasize in a little bit. Um, you can kind of see it almost looks like a little freckle right there at the corner. I'm going to turn that into the spot where they get pricked and I don't know why it's there or if it's just a happy mistake but it's in the exact spot that I need it so I'm going to go with it and and turn it into what I need it to be. I'm going to take that sponge that's my my uh, blush sponge and then I'm going to start working up the ankle with the excess that's on it. And again, make sure you look at all the angles. Um, I didn't realize there was gritties right there until I flipped it over to the front. So you want to make sure that every angle is covered so that you don't end up with a spot that you don't like after you look at it. Okay, so the next part, and this is not going to be as thick as the foot because I don't want it to be as bright. I'm going to put some watery red on and with my blending sponge, I'm going to blend that into the kneecaps. And then I'm going to take it from there and kind of pull it up and push it down the knee to warm up the little leggy area. All right. Can you see this on the video? It kind of looks like it's choppy. I don't like that. So I'm going to carry on working with that so it's smooth. You don't want to leave any spots that make it look like there's a big rough end. It just needs to kind of blend seamlessly from one color to the next. Okay, um, so the last area, and I'm going to do this one with a little bit of the thick paint in the inside and then the thinner paint on the outside. Just around the thigh. And I'm going to use a different part of my sponge so that I don't have too much paint on it because I don't want to have a complete seamless 
line going down my leg. I want it to fade into a lighter color before it gets to the knee color. All right, so that's the color of our foot or our leg. Um, but now I'm going to do some details in these creases. I'm going to get my tiny little brush and I'm going to use the thicker paint again. Put that out of the way. I'm going to come into these deep creases underneath the leg. And with my wedgie brush, my smaller wedgie brush, I'm going to gently tap that. Like I did on the creases on the neck from one direction until it stops and it runs out. And I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to do the other direction. So I'm pushing the paint into the crease more rather than pulling it out. And I'm going to do this side of the little leg in that same crease. since I've already done the other side I don't need all that extra paint being pushed over so I don't I'll wipe off the excess so that it's not too colorful all right so there's one little crease filled Some of these are a little tricky to get to on these little squishy bent legs. And flip it over and come to the other side. All right, next crease. Don't allow your paint brushes to get too much paint on them. Always keep them semi-clean um, and remove the excess paint by rubbing it on a, a towel or a paper towel of some sort. You can clean your brushes every once in a while, but I don't really like doing that because for some reason they're not quite the same way after they've been clean. Okay, so that crease. So those are the, the big creases in the leg. Now I'm going to turn my attention to around the ankle area. I'm going to come in with some of these littler creases. And with a smaller brush, I'm going to tap these ones. So the paint stays there, but it doesn't smear all around. And then I'm going to come to the toes and give it a little shading in between the toes in a way that I control it. There's a little vein, or not a vein, but a little crease right back here that I'm going to come back and emphasize. Alright, now I'm going to play on that tiny little mark, get some darker paint, and just leave a little mark right there on it and it looks like it's one of those little PKU poke test things 
All right, so this little leggy has only one more step to do, and it's the toenails, and I'm going to do that in the next after it's cooked. All right, so we'll do a hand for her next. And on the hand, I'm going to do the palm, um, but leave the center of the hand just a titch lighter than I, the rest. So I'm going to do just an outline of the handprint area. So it's wet right now, but when it's dry, that will be the right color for our little preemie hand. So I'm going to flip it over carefully without touching it because I don't want to wipe off what I've just done. And this one I'm going to be a little more careful with. I don't want it going all over the ends of my fingernail. So I'm going to actually outline my fingernails, leaving the nail beds completely empty of color except for what's previously been put on. And then painting the nail or the, the finger all the way back. Okay, almost there. These details do take a long time, but again, easy does it, and take it slowly so that you don't rush through it and miss something. Okay, so all the fingers are now done. I can lay off my tiny brush and come back in with my bigger brush to fill in the rest. And just let this kind of carry up the wrist until it's kind of smooth. 
I'm going to come back in with my denser sponge just to pick up anything that is too gritty on this little hand. Okay, so our little hand is done. Now we're going to put a little bit of paint on our elbow. This is the lighter paint, not the thick, dark, dark stuff. Starting in the center, you'd work your way out in circles and spreading it gently up and down. And then at the shoulder, we're going to cap it off with the color of the lighter stuff as well, the wetter stuff. And now I've got those colors on, I'm going to you know, stuff a paintbrush up into the arm so I can have something to hold on to because this little tiny arm is kind of hard to hold on to. And then I'm going to come back with my tiny brush for some of my creasing. You see how that's pulling it out? I didn't want that to happen. I'm going to go back with my smaller one. I want those to stay in the creases. A few more of this one. Um, before I come back over the top of the hand to do any more, I want to actually cook this because this one has a lot more details on her, his fingernails and I don't want to take one layer of paint off while I'm putting another one on. So I'm going to cook him before I do any more besides these little fat creases in his arm. I don't want these to look like just lines. I want them to blend. And this one, I don't think it's a crease, more than just a muscle outline. So I'm just going to use my brush and give it color without adding paint to it. I'm going to flip the arm over and there's a couple on the inside in here. Okay, again, I'm not going to finish any more on the hand until I uh, cook this layer. I'm going to fill in some of these darker ones right here on the wrist. But anything on the actual hand I'm going to save until I cook. Um, I have to go run errands, and so I will not be able to do any more on this today, which is, I don't know what, Thursday. So this is where I'm going to stop for the day. I'll be picking up so far. We'll pose this little nugget. Let's see. It's squishy. And only half of it's done, so you have to just pretend that both halves are are there. But you can see how cute and squishy she's turning out, or he he's turning out to be. Oh, such a hard life. 